Hello, welcome to Die Hard United. My name is Jude. I'm going to be talking about the latest news concerning Manchester United today. Don't forget to like and leave a comment in the comment section after this video. And if you're a new subscriber, thank you for coming on again. If you're not subscribed to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Click on the subscribe button on the right hand corner and uh, keep up to date with everything Manchester United here on my channel. My name is Jude. Let's get to it. Let's talk about it. Just concluded preseason game against Liverpool today in Bangkok, Thailand, where United put four past Liverpool in a preseason game. Of course, we know it's just a preseason game, so we're not going to overhype the whole situation. But there are a lot of things we got from this game. I watched this game live on the Manchester United app, and it was very, very interesting to watch. So I'm going to bring you my own highlights from the game and also the comments from the manager and also what I noticed from players in the game today. Of course, like I said, we are not going to overhide the situation. We got we put four past Liverpool. That's fine. That's good. But we are lifting our spirits up. Our morale is building. And that is why this is very exciting. I love this game. Football is back. So let's talk about what happened in the match today. So in the first half, we had Varane in goal. Um, De Gea in goal. Varane and Lindelof at centre-back. Shaw at left-back. Dalo at right back, McTominay and Fred in the middle, um, Bruno, Rashford, Sancho and Martial up front. In the first half, I would say in the first half was very good. Of course, we scored three goals in the first half. The first half was very good. We got back that Ole fluid for front three where he tried uh, uh, in 2019. Of course, it worked well with um, Rashford, Martial and Greenwood and they did fantastic well. And, and it's looking like we're going to have the same thing this season with Sancho, Rashford, and Martial because today they were so fantastic, fluid, the fluid front to keep on changing position and then um, there were a lot of move, movement in the front. You see Rashford, the right, he goes to the left, Sancho to the left, goes to the right, they all keep moving. In the first half, Sancho was fantastic. Of course, he only played the first half. Sancho was very fantastic. You get our front players now pressing back. Um, coming back to get the ball and pressing hard. Um, that's, and that was exactly how Martial was able to get his own goal. As for Sancho, Sancho's own goal was also superb. He also um, gave an assist to Rashford. But of course, Rashford did not put, um, not put it in. But Rashford was um, also okay. Um, gave us a glimpse of him getting to his best. And the pressing intensity and high line. The high line was superb. The high line, you could see Varane and... Um, Lindelof pushing back, to, pushing up to the middle. We got the ball from them, from the like we won the midfield battle a lot today. We got the ball from the middle and no, and pressed them, uh, pressed them, and with some fast counter attack, we were able to get most of the goals in the first half, except for the McFred um, goal where he was able to lob the keeper from in front of the 50, uh, 16 yard box. But it was fantastic. Of course, who shouldn't be carried away. By this result, I would say again, don't be carried away by this result. It's just a preseason game, but first half was superb. Rashford was okay. Martial was superb. Sancho was the man of the match for me in the first half. De Gea also put on some fantastic save. And generally, the first half was very fantastic. Then in the second half, we had um, a change of players. Of course, it's a preseason game, so nobody's going to get full 90 minutes. Um, we had players like Savage, Charlie Savage coming on, Dina Akbar, Blestri, Ahmad, Teles, Bayi. A lot of players coming in for the second half. Second half, we of course most of our good our top players went out for of the first half. So in the second half, we were not expecting anything fantastic performance from um the players because most of them are well are youth players, but still yet. We still got some good performances from Pelesi. Pelesi scored a wonderful goal. Zidane Agba was superb. Charlie Savage never gave the ball away. Charlie Savage was superb. He was awesome. These players should definitely go out on loan in the championship and, you know, get the ball rolling for them in their careers. And hopefully in the next two or three years, we can see them doing something in the league. But Zidane Agba and Savage were very fantastic. Pelesi can perform for us this season. Pelestri can be given a chance this season to shine because he is good. We need to give him 
a chance to shine. Even Ahmad also, we spent money on these guys, so we should be looking forward to seeing these guys play um, a lot. Bayi also was super. Bayi was Teles was so poor today. You could hear Ten Hag shouting at um, instruction at him from the touchline, but Bayi was super. But his pace and his um, and his um, movement, he always saved the ball. You know, Salah would have gotten some few goals and some other players would have scored, but Bayi was always there to rescue Teles from his mistakes and also do his job efficiently. If in the goal, um, Teles got. Bayi run from the from his own half up to the box of Allison. It was superb. He, he could have got the goal if um, Pele, Ahmad could have passed to him, but of course Ahmad did not pass. But Pelechi got a good goal from there. So it was a fantastic performance from from the team, and it looked like Teles. Teles would definitely have to go anyway. I don't think Teles have any future at the club. He should. Be gone. We already have Malaysia and um, and Shaw, so I don't think Teles would be here. But he made a lot of mistakes today. Mistakes today and um, Malaysia when he played was okay. Malaysia, Malaysia was okay. He showed us glimpses of um his movement and how he plays his football, and it was definitely good. And after the game, Ten Hag, Ten Hag has some comments. Um, after the game, he said um, he was satisfied um, with the team. Um, it's, a ge- it's a team with great spirit. They played brave. Um, they were proactive. Um, but we need to avoid mistakes. There were too many mistakes today. I, he said that, trust me, we should not um, overhype the match. It's a precision game. Um, most of the players of Liverpool have not ha- trained that much compared to us who have trained a lot. And he said, um, we have a lot of work to do to avoid making too many mistakes. Too many mistakes. And um, But he's happy with the first game. Um, and yeah, it's not over. Um, we still have to you know, go back and go back to the training and see what we, can, what we can do. The team has potential and we should not get carried away. Same thing. So yeah, we know it's just a precision game and... Um, People were laughing at Darwin Nunez for missing an, an open chance and uh, calling him a 100 million flop and um, happy we didn't sign him. But it's just a precision game. We are going to play them in the test game of the Premier League fixture. And I think we should be, we should be playing them in about six, seven weeks' time. So that is going to be the real test, not, not this game. So we shouldn't be carried away. And let's see if we can get this ball rolling we can get some new signings and everything can keep rolling. Because now, of course, starting McTominay and Fred is not the ideal midfield option. We need someone at the midfield. We also need to send a new centre back. I also need a new attacker. But it's 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 really optimistic. I hope Ronaldo gets to stay. Because if Ronaldo gets to stay, you know, we, we should be looking like having Rashford, Ronaldo, and Sancho, and that will be an awesome combination. Roger would get a lot of chances this season with, with the way we are playing. He would not be playing a graveyard shift up front anymore. He would be getting a lot of chances to score goals. And of course, hopefully Masha stays as to be our backup. But of course, if he wants to go, he should go. But if the Hag wants him to stay and he stays, we're always here to back the manager. And let's see how that goes also. But after the game today, we were presented the cup for winning um, the match and we would be flying to Australia next where we'll play games against Melbourne Victory Crystal Palace and Aston Villa so the preseason journey is just starting we are, I think I don't know if we're flying immediately after this game or wait till the next day but I think we'll have to fly to Australia next because that's the next destination for our preseason but for my man of the match today I would like to do it in, for first half my man of the match was Sancho but the second half Bayi was superb. Bayi was impressive. Bayi was crazy. Bayi was so good. But overall, I will give I will, I will give it to Bayi. Bayi was awesome. But the funniest part was Marshall. Anthony Marshall actually won the man of the match trophy um, or boots or whatever he was giving the award he was presented. He actually won it 
for this game and he was all smiles and happy and the rest but that's good it's good to see our players happy and um, you know being optimistic once again because we know these players have a very poor mentality and it's good to get them back to their best so let's see how the rest of the preseason goes and that's all for now don't forget to like this video leave a comment in the comment section share this video to a fellow united diehard fans and most importantly please we're trying to build a community please if you're not subscribed to the channel please subscribe this is for the manchester united diehard fans don't forget to leave a comment give your thoughts on everything i've said and engage thank you for watching this video see you next time